A lady named Sue Pollock brought the book to my company, came in and talked to me about it, and they said, sounds like a great idea. Let's all uh, sit down and read the book. And we did, and we fell in love with it and made a deal, and we ended up with an excellent screenplay. And it still took six years to get the film made. It's a very difficult project to set up. Is the spaceman here yet? Shh, don't call him that now. It's not often in Hollywood or in film in general when you have an opportunity to work on a good film and script. Uh, the writing of the script was uh, refreshing. It was, it was chance taking. It was delving into a subject matter that's, you know, been touched on by other previous films. But this had a little bit of a different slant to it, and I thought it was really interesting. No, don't. Go. The way that I read scripts is uh, I don't ever want another character that they want me to look at. I just like to read the story. And I, I remember calling uh, my manager and saying, I thought this is a great story. It's a wonderful character. And it's a kind of a science fiction fable, but it's very funny. And I said, this character, Prot, is just beautiful. And she said, well, that, that's not the part that they want you to look at. Action! No, no, no! No, no, no! No, no! So I said, well, I fell in love with Prot, so uh, I wished them well. And, and then, you know, two and a half years later, the film came back around, and Universal said, uh, well, would he be interested in the role that he was originally interested in? And I said, oh, absolutely. So um, it, it sort of it was worth the wait. Is that apple pie I smell? My agent called me up and said there was some interest in me working with Kevin Spacey in this movie, K-Pax. And uh, I thought, oh, Kevin Spacey's a wonderful actor. I've been a fan of his for quite a while. And uh, then they talked about director Ian Softly. One of the reasons that I was so encouraged about Ian directing was that he'd read the script almost the same week that I did. And he'd been pursuing it and pursuing it and pursuing it. And he had a very particular idea about it, a very particular vision. What we'd like is if you could diagram on the light pad the orbital pattern that your planet takes through this system. I find Ian an extraordinarily intelligent, provocative person. He's someone who has very good command of the script, of what he wants to do. He's not hesitant. He's very expressive. Ian Softly, who I think is a terrific talent, fell in love with the project. And I think his enthusiasm helped get other people involved, we have some of the other people involved. We actually had such a good response to the script that uh, the casting process was, was relatively straightforward. A particular interest for me because quite a few years ago I played uh, an alien myself and I thought, oh, well this would be kind of fun to play the other side, the straight guy. Jeff Bridges did a film a number of years ago, a beautiful film that is just extraordinary to watch to this day called Starman in which he played a character that clearly was from another planet, and now he's got this opportunity to play a kind of non-believer. It's a really great journey just in terms of Jeff's own career and his work. You know, for an educated person, Mark, you repeat things quite a bit. Are you aware of that? I think that, you know, Jeff has this great heart, and there's a kind of naturalness and an honesty about the roles that he plays, so that you actually feel that you're encountering Jeff and that you're almost unaware of the acting, but he has great art to disguise the art. It's incredibly precise. He studies in great detail. He's really, really precise and methodical in the way that he prepares and researches. Betty, what the hell is going on here? I think one of the remarkable things about Jeff is that he has enlisted my help from the beginning of this project to make sure that he is portraying a psychiatrist in the way that a psychiatrist would actually act with patients in a real life setting. And I've admired that about um, his work from the very beginning of working on this film. What on earth is out there? Just a blue jay. A blue jay? Well, the first thing that I wanted to do when I started working on the movie was to really get a sense of what a real mental hospital was like. And if Prote was diagnosed as having a particular illness, what that would be, and what the treatment would be, and what the treatment for the other patients in the hospital was, and the sort of world that the psychiatrist played by Jeff Bridges would inhabit. You know, maybe what's wrong with him is that he is. Is what? From the planet K-Pax. <laughs> 